whiskey. Uh, make it a double. I'll get this one. Whiskey double. Hi, Lance. Back again. How you doing? Better than you, by the looks of things. Bad day. You could say that. <laughs> Not here on business, then? No. Just want to get very drunk. Anything you want to talk about? Not really. <laughs> no offence. None taken. I'll just sit here by myself, that's okay. No worries. <laughs> How are you getting on with Carl Pritchard? Well, he's given us alibis for the nights the three murders took place. So far, two of them have checked out, and we're looking into the last one now. I've got an officer taking a voluntary swab, so the lab will be able to tell us if his DNA matches what we found at the crime scenes. And how's the questioning going? Not very well, Mom. You see, the last time Pritchard saw Kamal Siddiqui was a week before he died. So he's got nothing on Kamal's whereabouts after he left his girlfriend on the night he was killed. Beyond that, slim pickings. Pritchard and Siddiqui didn't see very much of each other, and when they did, Kamal wasn't very forthcoming. OK. Keep me informed how it goes. Gov, I can't get hold of Josh Hill. Tried his own number and his mobile. I'm just going to have to go round there and see if he shows up. Fine. Listen, Gov, I know it's not my call, but I think we should get some surveillance on Hill. I know there's no forensics linking him with these murders, but his alibis are shaky, and the fact that he was involved in the Neiman blackmail, I mean, he's the strongest suspect we got. I'll think about it. Let's see if he shows up at his flat first. Go. <laughs> I'll get that. Don't mind, do you? No. Just so you know, nothing's going to happen, OK? Who said it was? If you don't mind me asking, if you don't want anything to happen, what are you doing in a place like this? Set on your own. I don't really have anywhere else to go. I have a partner, but we haven't been getting on too well. I'm sure we'll be fine. So, uh, where is he tonight? I don't know. You must be mad. You all right, Lance? Why shouldn't he be? I'm fine, Michael. We well, don't look here. Do you two know each other? Yeah. We had a barman here who's busted for crystal meth recently. I was the cop that busted him. Shouldn't you go home? Haven't you got work tomorrow? I told you, I'm, I'm fine. Listen, I'm gonna leave you guys to it. Nice talking to you, lads. Oh, what? Was going really well a minute ago. Yeah, well, he's bad news, trust me. Why do you think I came over? To save me. <laughs> Look, my shift's over, so I'm gonna get out of here. Look, take my advice. You're drunk. You can do better than that. You're right. I should leave. I've been putting off going home. You'll be all right. You don't fancy coming back with me for nightcap. Tell you what, why don't I give you a lift home and make you a nice cup of coffee instead? Deal. My car's round the back. Okay, I'll grab my coats in the cloakroom. Okay. I should have finished my drink. I reckon you'll survive. <laughs> Come on, this way. <laughs> oh, oh, <God>. Sorry. <laughs> Listen, thanks for bringing me home. And thanks for stopping me from... Um... Hey, no problem. You're better than that, yeah? Lance, you're drunk, man. Sorry, I thought... Uh... Look. I better get going, yeah? I'd have a glass of water if I were you. I'll see you later. I bet you're glad you went clubbing last night. I think I can buy a new liver off the internet. <laughs> if you're feeling anything like you look. If you're information, Roger, I feel a lot worse than I look. PCs Harmon and Johansson. 
Call me old fashioned, but we're paid to protect and serve the public. We're not paid to be hung over on duty. Now, is that very clearly understood? Sir. So, so. Right. Who are we missing? Where's Lance? Well, if Smithy thinks somebody and Honey hung over, wait till he sees Lance. <laughs> right, okay, we should carry on without him. Pairings, Tony, you are with Honey. Roger, you're going to be with me till Lance shows up. Laura, and about you two together, you two together, and Dave, you can go out on the ice street. All right, mate? Oh, Any news on Josh Shuffle? Still not called me back. I stayed outside his flat till about three this morning, and then I came back. I'll pop round again in a bit. Let me know what you find. If he's not there, I'll see if I can get uniform onto it. Look, we appreciate you working through the night on this. But if you want to go home, get some sleep. Nah, I'm fine. Well, you look shattered. Have a break. Yeah, well, to be honest, I'm in no rush to go home. Things between me and Cindy aren't too good, so I'd rather get near down here if that's all right. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, uh. Victim is an IC1 male, age 14. 298 is on scene. Required assistance. We received Sierra 1 on scene now. What happened? I don't really know. I was just around the corner when the call came through. His name's Gary Denning. Now, apparently, he was having an argument with a man who lives in this house, Martin Simmons. It all kicked off and Simmons stabbed him. Martin Simmons? I know that name. Lance was dealing with him yesterday, but he couldn't get a result because Simmons was too afraid to identify his attacker. I don't think it was him, do you? Well, where's Simmons now? In the house. Should we go and check that out? Uh... Do you want to see if you can get anything else off the net? Talk to the witnesses? Yeah. It's okay, sir. Just stay calm, yeah? I didn't mean to do it. No, it's all right. He just won't leave me alone. I should have been honest yesterday. That, that officer, PC Powell, I should have just told him like he said. Why don't you tell me what happened today? Martin, isn't it? I was having breakfast and... and then I heard this banging at the door. And I looked out the window. And I saw him. He was spray painting my car. I knew it'd be him. It's always him. This Gary Denny. Yeah? He saw me watching him. And then he just started laughing at me. I'm fed up of him laughing at me! It's okay. It's okay, Martin. Let's take it easy, yeah? So this Gary Denning, was it him that assaulted you yesterday? He's pathetic. He's just a kid, he's just a flaming kid. But I can't do anything. It's just not me. I, I'm not an aggressive man. I'm pathetic. No, you're not pathetic, Martin. It's him that's pathetic. How long has this been going on for? About six months. He just won't leave me alone. He, he, he puts things from my letterbox. He, he sprays my car. He, he steals things. Every day there's something. Did you never think of informing the police? It's embarrassing. I should be able to deal with this myself, shouldn't I? But I just can't even do that. It's okay, Martin. Look, I, I know it's an accident. I can see that. Why don't you give me the knife?